Hi guys, welcome to my channel All About YouTubers 13. Today I'm going to be showing you how to protect yourself on your computer for free. I nearly got into an incident myself recently, which is the reason why I'm doing this now, and I'm going to be say, say, uh, showing you several reasons why, how, and what to do for free. And also, even if you have paid for virus free things, VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. Still, don't just rely on that because you, you, you know, uh, it needs to be checked a lot your computer does needs to be checked as you're going along so basically the first thing what i want you to do is look up it's called bit defender and free or bit defender free version type that in and normally whenever you type in for something you'll see it'll come up here at first but that's always an ad at first so that means you're going through a third party so you want to go down to the one below that click on that and it will show you automatically it goes on i'm on windows it's automatically gone on to windows but as you can see underneath there you've got mac and android so whichever one is like preferable for you download that once you've downloaded that this is what you will see and you can scan your system for free this is and uh I have done in the past and what you can do is click on it if you didn't see that let me get rid of this but the first time you want to scan just scan but if you want to look into several other things get to settings there and you can see events quarantine blah 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 protection now what this is uh once you've scanned your thingy it your computer it'll tell you when it's finished whether it's quarantined anything or if you've got anything suspicious which you want to check just drag it any file or whatever put it down to there same as exclusions and the protection so this is a free thing this is number one out of several things which i'm going to be showing you now the next thing which if you watch my last program what i done is i went to buy a membership and i was going to do whatever i could afford which would be three months six months or 12 months now the reason why i did say that yeah they got money off me but it weren't information enough what i done was i bought a prepaid card the 50 pound 50 pound prepaid card and then with that as it says here uh, are prepaid cards anonymous yes you can purchase prepaid cards provided by visa mastercard american express and an anonymous card there is a viable motion keeping for that they can only be used for purchasing system services not products so basically do not get into a uh, well you can't like a monthly subscription just buy the six months or the 12 months and that was what i planned to do so I gave my information for that, they took the money, but lucky enough, the link will add the Trojan, which is like another word for like the old day Trojan horse, where people who didn't, like there was a besieged area, and people built the opposite side, who was surrounding it, built a big wooden horse, people hid in it, they offered it as a piece, like, you know, let's speak tomorrow, this is the gift for today, they put it, They've took it through their big gates and in the night loads of people popped out and that's how the besieged castle which they weren't going to be able to do anything got toppled from the inside through a trojan there's actually a thing even the fbi uses this it's called the trojan uh hacking system where they can find out so basically if i would have clicked on that and paid with my other or a debit card with all my information then they had that then and it could have been used future or now or they could be going by percentages to, to get thousands and you know thousands and thousands of people to do to put in information that trojan horse and the wait to they get the big one who's got worth a million pound or two and then bam hit him do you know what i mean what i'm saying to you buy prepaid de debit cards and whatever you want to buy online just buy it in one go and that's another word and that's the next thing for you to do 
Now another thing to do to protect yourself online is whatever website you click on, I'm just going to go on a random one here, apply for a prepaid card. Now, to make sure this is a, a, a good site, first thing you can do straight away is here, follow my, my cursor and see here, you'll see a padlock and it says view for site information. Click on that information here is secure your information for example password or credit card numbers is private when it is sent to this site so means this is okay this is valid and it's got and it's by law so they're using systems which are protected by law so you can use your data your passwords whatever and they can't use it as such if you get what i mean because there's protections and ways in there but you can also Click on the certificate and a few things to check here. The certificate is intended for the following purposes. Blah blah blah. Make sure the bottom, the date is valid. So from the 13th of the 7th, 21 to the 19th of the 17th, 2022. And that adjusts, you know, if uh, a good website adjusts like as the years go by, go to 19th of the 2nd, 2022 and more details here you can you can do this and just make sure you check that and i always go to this certificate patch at the end because there it says this certificate is okay and that's one more thing to do for free to check yourself online now let's have a look at something else right this next thing it's kind of like the last one where you have a look at this uh you know this lock in the top corner but it if it's not good it will show one of three well there's three things about what it will show but another way what's gonna basically so you can see them three things without me having to go on a bad site to see but another way to check any any site just go on to it here just right click on your cursor or you know whatever it, you're looking at your laptop go to it and inspect at the bottom inspect and on the right a lot of things will come up here which it could be mumbo jumbo to you but here at the top console services you're going to see that arrow click on that just go to security and bam it's going to do show you what you've seen before there like this the, the x one but it all shows you the other things security over through this page is secure so you can see there is the, uh, the padlock what says secure next is information where if it shows that you need to look into it more but then if you see this not secure so that's like the you know the triang triangle shape and it'll tell you reasons why it's not secure so there's another thing for you and there's more just for you guys but right, this next one I kind of showed it the other day but now this is going a bit further into it it's called URL void so if you go into google type URL void and you'll see here.com click on it what it does is it checks each website by its reputation so what it does is every like it uses companies that data protection so out of the thousands of data protection online what you can buy to protect yourself it, it can't check all every single one of them so it, it checks probably 20 of them the best ones what this site considers it to be well it's got a reputation of themselves and as you can see here the top the site information it's good it's a connection and what you do is here you can see find a website or URL, URL so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you good and bad so for instance uh, we're going to check Google so google.com click that it's checking and the answer is here report summary blacklisted 0 out of 43 so that's good if this see if this comes up as red you know it, you know there's something wrong and it gives you all the address all the information here but then underneath this which i think is the best thing it shows you all the all the uh 
websites, the data protection websites that people pay money for to keep them safe online, what they think are the best ones, and it's asked them of their customers who have used the site and they've checked it for them, have they had any problems with it? And as you can see, read the book by reputation, nothing, nothing, nothing. But look what we got here. Right, bit defender. So out of all of you know the thousands of online data protections, one which I showed you, which you can use for free, is actually one what they've considered it's worth using their data, it's worth using their word. So nothing found, nothing found out of all of these. So you can see it's a very good site, and this is for free. So you know, but now let's just pretend I went on Google and I found a website that in the past there must have been some problems with it so I've just got I'm not going to be going on the website I'm just going to be using that name and it was called what is it fantastic films are you so it was probably something to do with getting people to pay for films just pretend it's a site that you you was uh, going to be renting a, a movie off scan it scan it oh red see see I, I said the other one was green now this is red three out of four so let's just get down it gives you all the information there but then it's going to be the checking the order sites and the first three here fortnite my what and threat log they've detected uh problems with that website now the rest and not saying oh it's a good website it's just their customers have never got to use it for them to find out but these first ones did let's just have a quick click on it and see what it says so you can see a web filter and it just says phishing which basically is going after your data malicious websites and see so you can see all the information here so this is another thing what you can try for you know for free yourself and it was called url void remember that url void there as you can see there that's another thing for you to check now this next thing uh just because we was using url void.com last i'm just keeping it on the same page and here if you was to click on where you'd normally type in the uh whatever website you want you can see the www dot there but see at the beginning https and it's colon uh what what do you call them dash dash then whatever now sometimes on bad websites see this https it just say http the s would be missing so it's not valid or it might just have TTPS do you get what I mean it's not valid for it to be a valid one it would have the HTTPS uh, colon and forward slash forward slash if that's what you call them but www.url.com so that's just another way to check and just make sure that it's HTTPS so these things you'd write it down put them on your wall in your bedroom whatever just so you get used to these do you know what i mean and even if you are paying for someone to protect your data for you, you still can't just trust everything in there because like we said with this site out of the 20 ones what it checks internet providers it was only three of them what had customers who had used that site so you might be on a site where up until that point that site hadn't been used in their systems you get what i mean so you, you, should, you should always go check on other angles so there's another thing right now we're coming up to the end of some of the three things what i'm telling you about today what i've done is normally i would be on google signed in, in in my own name but as you can see here i'm a guest and to prove that when i click here can see you are browsing as a guest so basically for instance if i've brought this laptop on online it's not brand new someone might have put you know a, a trojan in there some kind of a data so they can get hold of it and watch you through your camera and you know things like that and they're able to see everything online by what you go in so especially if you're showing things on the internet like me now i don't want you to see certain things for instance 
not that I don't want you to, but I'm just proving a point here. So, unless you're having to use sites for yourself personally, you know, stay as a guest. You know what I mean? There's another thing. That's it coming for the end of today. The other thing is, there's also a, a tour network, which is kind of the dark web, the deep web. Now, you know, there's some controversy around that, but it's kind of like a, 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 a gun. It can be used as defense or offense, meaning it's kind of like a VPN where nobody can trace you. And it's done some really good things, as in countries in Asia and that where the governments are on them. They've been able to use that tour network where they can't, the government can't see their www their ip address and and they've um, met to have protests which have overthrew tyrants so there's a lot of good things there but at the same time because of that that uh you no know, an, an, an anonymity people are taking advantage advantage of that to do with drugs or you know this that and the other so it's not just a bad thing but I'm not going to be showing you that now because it's not something I've really looked into. I've never had a, you know, I've, I've not had a reason to start using the deep web, the dark web or tour. But it's something which I do want to learn about. So I know and I've got the knowledge. Do you get what I mean? And, but right now I can't give you any knowledge on it because I haven't got that data to tell you about it. I've had no reason to look into it. I mean, but it's, if you see someone using tour, or look... It's not, don't just think, ah, oh, it's bad. It can be used for all different kinds. But, like I said, double-edged sword. One of them, you've got to have a reason to use it. And I had a reason to use it. But if I thought that somebody was after my data and I wanted to get online without anybody watching me and it come to that necessity where I'm being act, I know I am, then obviously that's the, the time to use it. But Hopefully I haven't got to that stage, but there's also the, t the tour network, but you can't just click on our tour and, and go into it. No, you have to, you know, uh, click on tour and download a browser. And then with that browser, it kind of, you have to go through it that way. Do you get what I mean? And it's kind of like Google. It's, uh, when we go in Google, it cancels out a lot of things you can't, you know, they only let you see websites which they think is okay by law. And we're only seeing 5% of all the websites. There's another nine, 95%. What, in general, you can't get up. You can't even get access to it. And you do through the Tor network, the deep web. So that's what I do know on that. But anything else, I haven't got experience. So I just wanted to let you know on that. But we're summing up. That's it all for today. Write down these, it's free, do you know what I mean, all what I've showed you, even if you are paying for a, a VPN, for instance, still check it other ways, and also, what I want to say about a free PN, VPN, you can get free VPNs, don't use them, uh, I mean, you can use them, but basically, if, if you're using a free VPN, you're going to be having loads of ads coming up all the time, and VPNs itself are slow your computer down. So if you're not, you you know, I couldn't do it because, my, you know, I'm, I haven't got the latest and the best laptop strokes, you know what I mean? So, because it checks, in, it checks up a lot of things, and if you're leaving it on, so online, always checking out, you know, everything you're doing. Why it's doing that slowing it's using a lot of processing speed and also you'll be having loads of if it's free pop up this pop up that and it and you know it can do uh, it can can end up like uh, put in your back for instance but there's other ways around it and remember like i said also that prepaid card that's what would have stopped me getting into trouble the other day you know lucky enough uh, i was able to I pay so much for a prepaid card and I was going to pay for the uh, the six months worth of a membership then they said to verify it and lucky enough the website which I you know the email address what I gave them because I'm a laptop this laptop I haven't had no reason to use that particular email so I had to go on my phone and that's where the things didn't make sense and if you watch a video you'll see what happened but basically within that there was like a code if i would have gone on to my and used my phone and i would have used say a credit card for instance basically uh it would have been fishing for my they would have got information 
just want to you know so i'm just saying this is for your own protection your own data protection the world's changing it's all technology we've got to change with it we have to adapt with it it's all new it's in its baby form at the moment so with people that the world's learning by mistakes what's good what's not you've got to change with it and you've got to be on top of it and i'm showing you how to do that now as much as i know possible and i'll be showing you more in the future anyway if you want to support my channel uh please you know uh paypal in the description so confidential you can even say whether you want me to say your name and i'll thank you on screen or not it's basically anonymous and i'm fully you know there's a reason why i use that avatar and avatar you know not just because i want save no, there's a reason for it and it's a personal reason well i've told people about it and but it's not kind of out in the open it it represents me what means a lot to me and freedom of speech so i want to support the channel paper in the description that's all for today folks you will take care catch you on the rebound bye dum, 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 dum.